What's up everyone, my name is Coach Sophie and welcome to the 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you'll get the inside scoop to get you ahead of the game. At 49ers EDU, we bring football to life through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We do this so you can see how these subjects live in the world around you. We need people like you from diverse cultures, experiences, and backgrounds to share your innovative thinking with the world. With a diverse group of people sharing their interests and skills, we can learn from each other and make our communities, neighborhoods, and classrooms a better place. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the M in STEAM for math by showing you how to score points in the game of football. I told you, STEAM is everywhere. So, if you have access to our digital playbook or have a printout, please pull that out now because we'll be focusing on page six. If not, just follow along. The first term we're gonna go over is a touchdown. A touchdown is worth six points. And the team with the ball or the offense must carry or catch the ball in the opposing team's end zone to score six points. For one extra point following a touchdown, the scoring team can choose to kick the ball between the uprights of a field goal post. Or for two points, the scoring team can choose to run or throw the ball over the goal line at the end of the end zone. This means the scoring team will have to get past their opponent's defense, which is a lot harder than it sounds. This is called a two-point conversion. Whether a team decides to go for the extra point or two-point conversion depends on the coach's strategy to make sure they get ahead in the game. A field goal is worth three points, and just like for the extra point, the ball must be kicked in between the goalpost uprights to score. Remember the word strategy? Depending on their strategy, a coach might choose to try a field goal kick at the fourth down so they can get some more points up on the board. A safety is worth two points and is not as common. It is when the team with the ball, the offense, gets tackled behind their own goal line. The other team gets two points, yikes. Now that you know how to score points in the game of football, Let's go over the extra point term of the day, strategy. You've heard it twice already. So what does it mean? Coaches and a team build strategy to try to accomplish their goal. Strategy, a plan of action designated to achieve a particular goal or aim. And what is their goal? To win. Coaches aren't the only ones that need to be strategic. We have a whole department who is dedicated to building strategy. Allison Liu and the business strategy and analytics team work on many projects to make sure that the fans have the best possible time when at Levi's Stadium. They collect fan feedback and adjust their plans, just like a coach would, to reach their ultimate goal of providing the best game day experience for 49ers fans. What are some ways that you use strategy in your life? Maybe your goal is to ride your bike after school. So the strategy you use is to finish your homework before it's dark so you can go out and ride your bike. Or maybe your goal is to recycle better at home. So your strategy is to color code bins at home so your family is more likely to recycle in the appropriate way. All right, so you're probably asking me, what does this have to do with math? Well, we're gonna get into our activity right now. So we'll be using our math and strategy skills to figure out how the 49ers scored the points to win them their five Super Bowls. You ready? Let's try the first one together. In Super Bowl 16, the 49ers won 26 to 21. The 49ers scored two touchdowns, two extra points, and four field goals. Do you remember how many points we get for each? Well, a touchdown is worth six points, so we times that by two to get 12. Each extra point is worth one point, and we got two of those. So one plus one equals two. Field goal's worth three points, so we're gonna times that by four to get 12. Now add all those together and see if we get the same final score. Is there more than one way to get the right answer? You tell me. Tag us in your photos and videos using at 49ers community on Twitter 
or use the hashtag 49ersEDU to show us what you got. Now complete the rest of this activity on your own and remember, don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's how we learn. I hope you had fun and learned something new. By the end of this activity, you'll be a master of how to score points in the game of football. You'll also have sharpened your math and strategy skills. See how you can use these skills in other parts of the playbook. We are all scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, and mathematicians. You just might not know it yet. So whether you decide to pursue a career in STEAM or not, you can use these skills to better the world. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope to see you next time.